three things I want to do today. Number one, Christmas gifts. What did Linda and I exchange? Or what did we ask Santa for? We'll do that real quick. If you're ever stuck in Ottawa over the holiday period, especially Christmas Day, Boxing Day, most things shut down, as I think they do kind of globally. Well, the places that celebrate Christmas. In Ottawa, there's an institution I want to show you. If you're ever stuck here and it's a statutory holiday and everything's closed, nothing shuts this place down. If you want a snack, if you want some of the best bagels in Ottawa, I'm going to show it to you. Zombie apocalypse would not shut this down, but maybe a global pandemic did. Even then, I'm not too sure. The last thing I want to do today, and this kind of ties a little bit into my Christmas gift from Santa, thank you Santa, is my top six, yes, six albums of 2023. What was blasting in Shay, Maddie, and Linda over 2023? Six of them. Why six? <laughs> Why not? Kettleman's Bagels. Open for business, folks. Christmas Day. 365, 24-7. Then shut down. Fantastic. If you're celebrating today, hope you have a fantastic day. It is indeed Christmas Day. December 25th. I always marvel at this time of the year. But typically it's frigid and snowy here in Ottawa. But I can get out and go for a ride. Nothing says Christmas spirit like getting on your bike and going for a solo ride, leaving your loved ones behind. <laughs> I'm a monster. So I got some cooking to do a little bit later. So I want to get out and stretch the legs a little bit, get a little bit of fresh air. I would say get some vitamin D as I normally do, but it is a little overcast as you can probably tell. Hopefully Santa was good to you. Brush you everything that you put on your list. Hopefully you were nice for the past 12 months and didn't get on his naughty list. I find that sometimes I'm on his naughty list then it's a lot of work to get off of that and get onto his nice list. Because between you and I, I'm not always nice. Linda and I were in Malta one year. So typically, as you know, Santa comes down the chimney overnight while you're sleeping and places the gifts underneath the Christmas tree. Awesome. Well, in Malta, and if I have a picture, I'll throw it up here. It would appear that Santa has a little bit more work to do to deliver those gifts. What it looks like to us is that Santa is more of a cat burglar because it would appear that there are no chimneys in Malta. So Santa basically needs to break into the house, scale up the walls, break into the house, and deliver the gifts. Whatever it takes. Adirondacks. I wanted to show you how snowy it is in the nation's capital right now. Um, if you're into white Christmases, sorry kids, it's, uh, it's greeny brown. It's a greeny brown Christmas. And it's not looking like it's going to snow anytime soon. In fact, midweek, we've got a um, 20 to 25 millimeter uh, rainstorm blasting through. So that's not going to do uh, that's not going to do anyone any good. 2023 is almost done. I hope you had a good year. I want to take this time to thank my subscribers, my early subscribers, and I like to thank my new subscribers for sticking with the channel. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content over the year, over the years. I will continue to do like vlogs. I don't think things are gonna change too, too much. I know. Maybe we'll get more Linda on the vlog. Those videos seem to do way better than uh, uh, Muggins here chatting away. But truly, thank you very much for watching the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you've had a good year and I hope 2024 is gonna be a uh, crackerjack year for all of you. We're hoping uh, for the best. We have some trips planned. I'm going to talk about that at some point. Highlights uh, for 2023 for us. Um, our trip to Greece was spectacular. Here's a few shots. Yeah, what's not to love about Santorini or Crete or Athens? Fantastic. If you get a chance, please go. Tell them I sent you. The other one, uh, cycling related. Cycling related. 
uh, was the new bike, the Mariposa. I'm so happy I bought it. It far exceeded my expectations. Fantastic. Very happy with that. So there's a couple of highlights. So before I uh, freeze to this Muskoka chair or Adirondack chair, <laughs> whatever they're called, uh, let's keep going. Made it back from the Christmas ride. That was fantastic. A little bit of fresh air pre-cooking Christmas dinner. So uh, Santa, yeah, Santa was good to, uh, certainly good to me, and I think Santa was pretty good to Linda. What was one of the top gifts that Linda got? Let's have Linda model those for us. So what we're looking at here is a pair of brand new Pock Aspires. Certainly one of my favorite sunnies to wear during the summer months, and uh, I know Linda's had her eye on these for a little bit. Pink, and they actually recede a little bit to black on the arms. Awesome. Santa was very good to me this year. A couple of mega gifts in 2023. A Stone Roses concert shirt. Amazing. It was an Oscar winning movie from 2016 called Arrival, starring Amy Adams. Um, I didn't get that on DVD, nor do I want it. However, something I've been looking for for quite a while and uh, Santa knew that and sourced Arrival movie soundtrack. Very hard to find, but uh, Santa slash Linda sent the elves out and uh, they sourced it. And I am stoked. I can't wait to listen to this on vinyl. I've been listening to it for years now um, digitally. But um, yeah, this is super amazing. Johan Johansson, an Icelandic composer, sadly passed away in 2018. Yeah, incredible. Can't wait. While uh, the elves were outsourcing that, they also sourced another Johan Johansson record for me. This is uh, another motion picture soundtrack. This one is called Personal Effects. I don't know this, um, but uh, again, he's an incredible or was an incredible uh, composer. So I'm looking forward to listening to that. Yeah, win-win. So while we're on the subject of music, let's jump into the top six albums that were rocking the Maddie Linda household in 2023. Here we go. At number six. The land is inhospitable and so are we. The new album from Mitski. Awesome. At number five, model actress, Dog's Body. Indie pop, post-punk at its finest. At number four, Everything is Alive from the shoegaze stalwarts, Slow Dive. At number three of my favorite top six LPs of the year, the latest from Sufjan Stevens, Javelin. It warms the cockles of my heart. At number two, this didn't make it onto many year-end lists of music vloggers, bloggers, or journalists that I follow throughout the course of the year, which was surprising to me because I love it. At number two, Strange Disciple from the band Nation of Language. And at number one, my top album for the year. Again, this is music that I love. So this is my list. Post-COVID, got to uh, finally go out and see way more bands than we did during COVID, obviously, because everything was shut down. One of my favorite shows, I think this holds true for Linda as well, was a band from the UK called Shame. This is their third release. The album is called Food for Worms. Shame my number one album of the year. Fantastic live. If you get a chance, go and see them. They are incredible. And this is certainly a progression for them. It's a great post-punk album. Enjoy. <laughs> 